Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. This is the eighth installment on our forum tutorial here on YouTube. Um, we're going to finish up our create topic. Um, so let's get started. I'm uh, well, just for uh, anybody else who doesn't know yet, um, the high definition videos are. Um, Pretty much, uh, well, you gotta go to my website, phpsquad.net, and uh, once you go onto that page, um, you'll be prompted with a nice little page there, and um, <clears throat> you can go ahead and just uh, browse around. <clears throat> um, sooner or later, I will get around to uh, making high definition videos with uh, the timeline on all the videos. Only uh, six and seven currently have that because it was a different way of setting it up. <coughs> so, um, okay. What we already have is only selecting the form subcategory. So now we're going to go back into our, our PHP designer and we're going to continue to add on to this. We're going to create a new data cell on our table. And we're going to call it topic title and we're just going to make it an input type equals text and we're calling name equals title all right now that we have that we're going to uh, create the message part so we're going to create a new data cell and we call this message and we're going to create a text area text area name equals message and we'll just add some style to it with 300 pixels, height 100 pixels. We'll close it, end it like so. And we'll go ahead and check that out. Okay, that's perfect. And now we're going to create a new data cell, table cell, data cell, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to uh, span this over two rows, align it to the right. And we're going to create our submit button. Input type equals submit. Name equals submit. Value equals create topic. All right. Close everything, including the table and the form. And uh, there we have it. Now we're going to refresh. We'll see our little button on the right. Create topic. There we have it. Now where we have... Uh, Oh, I suppose I didn't add the if post submit part, did I? Where would it be? Okay, anyways, um... Well, this seems like it's passing it through. Oh, okay. Um... Now is what we're going to do. We're going to go here. And we didn't do our if post submit doesn't exist clause. Oops. Okay, and we'll open and close and close it. Okay. We'll save this and now we'll put an else statement after this. And now we're going to define our variables. For our first one, we have category. So, uh, what do we call it? We called it like so name equals cat, so cat equals MSS post cat. Okay, and we have title, so MSS post title. And our message, which we're going to break down to a smaller variable name and call it post message. Now we're going to basically check if all those variables exist. If cat and title and message exist else echo please supply all the fields okay now we're going to go ahead and check if the category exists and to make sure uh, they are in admin so select star or select admin from forum sub cats where ID equals cat just like so, let's query this out. And 
Now we'll do if my sequel num rows rest equals zero echo this forum subcategory does not exist. Now we'll do an else statement and we create a new variable called row my sequel fetch a source res. Okay, now is what we're going to do. Um, we have admin user level, and uh, we'll do if row admin equals one, and then admin user level equals doesn't equal one. Echo, you are not an admin, therefore you cannot post a new topic on this forum. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do else here. And now we'll go check the string length of our title. If string length th it, title is less than 3 or or string length title is greater than uh, 32 echo the title must be between 3 and 32 characters okay now we'll go ahead um we'll do if string length message is less than 3 or or string length message is greater than we'll do 10,000 1 2 3 Echo the message must be between three and ten thousand characters. Just like so. Now that we have that all set up, we're gonna go back into our PHP my admin and we already have our forum topics here. So as what we're going to do, we're going to basically just go ahead and create upon it. And so let's go back to PHP Designer. We'll go to our last if statement and put an at else statement afterwards. And we're going to create a new query, a SQL2. Oops, we're inserting. So insert into our table is form underscore topics. <clears throat> and now we're going to define all the values. We have CID, title, UID, date, time, message. All right. Okay, first we're going to, uh, we're going to create two new variables. We're called date equals date. Oops. And inside here, we shall put um, MDY. Okay, um, I suppose that works. MDY. MDY. We'll do like that. And um, we'll add on to this and we'll put time. Okay. At date h i s hours minutes seconds month day year okay insert into form topics we had c i d uh title u i d we got to make sure this is in order c i d title u i d oops a date let's see time and message Okay, now we're going to create a new variable called time. We're just going to use a nice little timestamp like so. Okay, and now we'll define our values. Our first value is cat. Our second value is title. Our UID is session UID. Date is uh, date, obviously. Time is time. And our message is MSG like so now let's go ahead and query this out okay now I'm going to create a new variable called TID and we're going to do this my skull insert ID like so and we're going to create a new header and we're going to look once the form is submitted we'll go ahead and do a header location to index.php act equals topic and id equals tid oops just like so we'll go ahead and save this we can go ahead and test this refresh check for errors okay main chat we're gonna call this hello and uh... we are testing create a topic 
Great topic. Any errors? Okay, um, obviously you have something here that doesn't want to go. Okay, one thing here I'm going to actually... Okay, um, actually here, after here, uh, whoa, that sounded weird. We're going to remove the if id ex exists statement here. So we'll go ahead, like so. Okay. We'll refresh. We'll go hello. And we'll do we are testing create a topic. Create topic, see if anything happens. The form you were trying to, doesn't, okay. So now what we have to do is go ahead and back here and edit this. We're actually going to add the if id statement exists uh, back, just so we can do something afterwards. Okay, and we're just going to do else, and we're going to do the if post submit class doesn't exist. Cap blocks is on. Okay, now is what we're going to do, where we have it here. We're going to copy and paste all the way down, like so, right there. Oops, let's just echo out our form here. Okay, and then we're going to do else. Okay. We're going to copy everything from here. Okay, and we'll go ahead and save this just in case. And uh, on to this, we're going to actually add and id equals id, like so. Now we're going to head and refresh this. Hello? We are testing create a topic. Create topic, see what happens. Okay, cannot modify header information. Okay. Okay, uh, this means that we're echoing or printing HTML before we're actually completing this. Um, what we can do, actually, uh, instead of going through a whole mess of errors, we can create a new, uh, we could just do meta, meta tags. So um, we're going to go ahead and create a new function. Okay, and then we got to open up our uh, functions file. That's not okay. File open functions like here and uh, now is what we're going to do. We're going to create a function function topic go and we'll go id and uh, inside of here we're just going to create a meta tag okay so what we're going to do we're going to do echo meta http equiv uh, equals refresh I'm not the best with meta tags if you uh, don't already really know <laughs> Now, um, let's see, content, we'll do zero, so it's zero seconds automatically. Our URL will be um, index.php, act equals topic, and id equals id, like so. And simple as that, we'll close it, like so. Save it, where we have create here. We're going to replace this. We're going to do topic go TID. We'll save this. I believe uh, we already actually created a something here. You can see. Okay, so we'll go ahead and test this again. Test. Monkeys. We'll create topic. Okay, undefined topic go. What, what do we call it? Topic go. Do we include this? Oh, okay. We don't have it included. I thought we did. My bad. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this again. We'll just refresh. Okay. 
you can see it went to topic ID equals 3 and uh, that's how we're going to get started with creating our topic here okay you can see monkeys monkeys time 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 on our date here um, alright uh, category D in our UID here okay well um hope you enjoyed this tutorial in our next tutorial we'll actually be setting up so when you click m our main chat here the topics will actually show down in a list alright well um this video will be available in high definition um, the link will be directly at phpsquad.net which will be in the video description alright well if you like this video and you want to see the rest of the tutorial as it spans on please subscribe and you will receive my videos as soon as I upload them um, uh, it's important if you rate videos on YouTube uh, go ahead and rate this video whatever you want one to five uh, please comment I will respond to all uh, any negative or positive. Alright, well, uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.